still relevant at present age even before knowing the terms like gene or dna or chromosome he uh, discovered the reason behind uh, passing of genes or chromosome or dna from parent to offspring that is inheritance how genes are passed or how traits are passed from parent to offspring and how they are controlled so he called them factors that's why uh, mendel is called father of genetics or that's why his role is very important in uh, genetics so as i told he is called father of genetics before uh, because before the discovery of any essential part of the cell related to genetics he did his experiment which are still relevant at the present age and also studied and gives us information information how about the way of passing of traits from parent to offspring that is inheritance now why mendel use pea plants for his experiments following are the reasons following are the reasons number 1 short life span of the pea plants number 2 easily available so uh, experiments can be conducted number 3 grown in gr a garden so can be easily grown can be grown in garden then show homozygous trait or pure trait a produce pure trait for a long period of time and also fifth one a wide variety of alleles are available which helped mendel in his study now coming to what are the seven pairs of characters of pea plants used by mendel for his experiments these characters are as you can see these characters are stem height which can be either tall or dwarf then flower color violet or white these two types are produced flower position axial or terminal pod shape that is a shape of the pea inflated or constricted pod color green or yellow seed shape round or wrinkled seed color yellow or green so these are the seven pairs of contrasting characters used by mendel for his experiment now for a better understanding i'll show the image as well just a minute
So these are the seven pairs of characters. I hope all of you can see. Seeds, seed shape, dominant rate is round one. This one. So uh, seed uh, shape round. As you can see, round. Then just a moment. Or it can be wrinkle, recessive trait. Then comes seed color that is yellow. That is dominant green seed color that is recessive. As you can see green. Then flower color. Flower color can be violet, that's dominant, recessive is white. Pod shape, full, that is dominant, constricted, that's recessive. Pod color, green or yellow, yellow is recessive. Axial and terminal flowers, axial means in between the internodes, terminal at the end, at the top. Terminal is recessive trait. And stem height, tall or dwarf. Dwarfness is the recessive trait. This is all about the introduction part. Next, laws, Mendelian laws will be discussed.